What is up guys, Polder here, bringing you the start of our Pokemon Legends Arceus journey. I am very excited to dig into this. To be honest, a lot of the stuff prior, like the, the trailers weren't really doing it for me, so I was, I was kind of wishy-washy on it. I'm just going to play it regardless. But this, this past week has really, I don't know, the hype just kind of came out of nowhere for me. I don't know, it was like, oh, it, it's release week. Okay, I'm, I'm actually kind of excited now um especially the story the game was leaked oh like a week and a half early unfortunately i've though fortunately dodged all the spoilers so uh completely blind i have no idea what's going on minus one thing involving shiny pokemon but it was like irrelevant it's, it's shiny pokemon can be found in the overworld which is hell yeah but uh what is going on here welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space this Arceus? It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Just speaking to it. Okay. This opening is so ominous. I Now I wish to know thine appearance. Okay. They did show customization trailers. Um, so I think like hair color and all that can be changed. So we'll, we'll just base off of skin tone. I'm pale as shit. Let's go. Uh, and it me... This is not going to be any sort of like Nuzlocke or anything from my friends who have um, indulged in all the, the leaks and spoilers. Um, a Nuzlocke doesn't work very well in this. We may do some sort of um, just self-imposed like and no healing in battle just to spice some things up. Uh, it kind of really depends. I'm not going to commit to it yet until we get a feel for it. And then maybe it's like, OK, sure, let's throw out our potions. Hold you. Soon thou shalt find myself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Hold you. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Seek out all? Oh. Okay. So an ending to this game is completing the, I mean, I know like the premise is the first Pokedex ever, but that's like credits time. Is this a fucking, is this an Isekai? Like, oh, we got a smartphone. Oh my God. And that's why we have the Arceus phone because we were isekai into into feudal Japan. What? <laughs> but we kept our phone. This is that that is cool. I am curious. Okay. Oh, I played so many Switch games recently that just locked. Uh, the ability to make Make videos so or this is not one of them. Thankfully wake up. Oh Do wake up won't you? <laughs> there they are Just are you alive my boy? I don't know who's talking to me. Oh Hello Why, why you got the, the friends out? Oh my God. Look at the rift up above. I assuming that's Mount Coronet. You gave quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? I must say your clothing is unusual. You would happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No. 
So you don't even know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh my, I forgot. I just caught up with these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Oh, God. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. And what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Poldu. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely wasn't just a random sound I made with my voice whenever I was starting Club Penguin as a kid. There's the Poldu lore that you, if you didn't know, now you do. That's where my name came from. It's just a noise. <laughs> I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. I'm something of a scientist myself, okay. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here with... Oh, blast and bother my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Okay. Wait, you three, wait. I was... Oh, okay. Um, options. Ooh. Okay. Game controls. Are you... Oh, I can't... Oh, settings. Okay. <laughs> uh, double invert. Camera sensitivity, auto save. Whoa, whoa, Nate. Well, just in case recording goes wrong somewhere, disable so that I can redo recordings if needed. And Assange is like, well, the uh, recording messed up and you missed the last 30 minutes of whatever went down. ZR button confirmation. She's whether you want to be prompted to confirm a throw each time you use ZR in battle. For now, sure. I like that that's an option. Uh, background music, sound effects, Pokemon cries, we'll leave that. Dynamic range. Between loudest and quietest sounds, will like, narrow, I guess? The default? Interesting option. Okay. And then... Save your progress. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I, I've not been awake too long. I'm bugging. But as far as I... I'm thinking we're just going to do that. I know the game's mission-based. So ideally, once we get to mission mode, we'll be tackling at least a mission, an episode. Uh, there's a glowing, beeping object over there. But that makes so much more sense. You found something that resembles a phone. Because I was like, what? How do we have a, a smartphone way back here? How are they gonna justify that? I, I, so far, I like how they did that. It's probably your phone, but it's chain shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone in thy, uh, and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Also, let me know in the comments. How do you say Arceus? Do you is it hard C Arceus or with the S? I I love how it's just not like it's not been like normalized in like all the media for everything. It swaps back and forth. <laughs> it's just like, and it's an arc phone, but then they'll also say Arceus. I what do you say? I know they're gonna be all over the place for like everyone playing this game. Uh, interested to see, like, who says what. Alas, yet another miss. I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I've tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. That, oh, that one is Rowlet. 
Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it's, it battles using its shark feathers. A little orb. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Look at him go. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50. Very generous. But that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule sides. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as could be, and with that, you... Wait, you're saying the lore is the Pokemon themselves can shrink down? It's not the Pokeball doing the shrinking? You've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at a Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. So it be far, uh, though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle. Aim carefully to, po uh, okay. Release ZR to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've ready to poke a ball but do not want to throw it, just press B to cancel the throw. Sick. Then to quill. Now my aim on controller, if we like really, if we need to be extra fast with things, my aim on controller is terrible. I am not a console FPS person. <laughs> That's whatsoever. A wonderful new card of Pokemon. Seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Why would I be? Okay, I like that it's... It's fairly generous. Though that might change depending on Pokemon. Like the... The margin for error. I can hardly believe it, Poldo. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up this shop, shall we? Uh, Rowlet. Chilling in the shade. Oh. Okay, so, like, I'm gonna aim here. Oh. Okay. So maybe I just lucked out with the Oshawa placement? Because I felt like... I didn't hit the Oshawa. Oh, how dare you? Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Rowlet giving us issue. Guess is why they gave 50. So if you're just chucking balls around, I, I'm kind of curious. Someone's got to have done it. What if I just sat there and threw all 50? <laughs> I'm sure the game has something like, oh, here, you used all those, here's some more. But would they give another 50? Or would it just be like another five? Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived to the village to help our research. They won't listen, uh, yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they both run the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I have seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc Phone, you say? Yeah, just some some voodoo, black magic. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. 
You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one, out, uh, help one another out, my boy? Well, you've convinced me. Then, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out to lo uh, your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Proper clothes, what you mean? Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. What's wrong with what I'm wearing now? The giant void in the distance makes me think of sun and moon. I wonder if this is like canon to that timeline. There's like some weird like alternate timelines. There's like the the mega evolution timelines. Which makes me wonder, do we have those? Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good god. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. It's kind of strange, like, how modern he looks in this feudal Japan setting, you know? Like the lab coat and the beanie where everyone else is. I think he has robes under it, but he's out here calling our clothes weird. Because he has the vest and everything. Though the way he talks, it also sounds like he is from like a European place. Regardless of like the accent I'm giving him. Some of his word choice. So maybe that's, that's what's going on. Jubilee Village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition something. But this road we're on is known to locals as Canala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, not many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead is the Galaxy Hall headquarters for this entire outfit. Oh, botheration. Botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask that you wait for me at the canteen? It just passes bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Dark phone is beeping. Somehow, it seems to show where you need to go next. Somehow. <laughs> Minus one to view the map. You can consult the map for guidance. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring and running around the village. Make sure, uh, if you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around for the markers. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I do want to look at the map, though. Ah, okay. You can zoom in three steps. Cool. And then lore. Oh, is there a... Okay, it's like, is there a camera snap? There is. Bless. Wait, what was that A button? Investigate. Oh, the sign. Canala Bridge. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh my god. This guy's... Mustache? Question mark? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The Wallflowers are galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. 
What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guards let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. Yeah, okay. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as... Oh, unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. My clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! She was body by Shinx, I'm sure. Thundershock? L. <laughs> but everything will be quite all right now. Holdu here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Xylene's permission. I'll allow it. <laughs> Captain Xylene? God, the, the Cyrus ancestor. A long line of zero eyebrows. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to be, uh, to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any, uh, idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. A most reasonable decision, Cap. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. I can get behind that. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal in some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny Old Chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please. But to make it for three... Potato mochi? That's probably... Hmm. When I think mochi, I automatically think dessert. So, potato mochi sounds weird to me. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Never... Uh, much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. Professor Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the Space-Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Yeah. I like her facial expressions, just like, oh, what? Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hitsui region. That there are, and in the grass and forest, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them, find out what kinds of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Poldu will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. That means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We've had a hard time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Dang, you guys suck. Oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokemon. Well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough just to do that. Or to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Damn, everyone here hates us. <laughs> Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. <laughs> Depression eating potato mochi. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good, uh, the good captain stress eating soon enough. Now, have your feel, Poldu. And think, if you make it into the gal a galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs. Even if said members fell out of the sky. Happy to be included, then. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Uh, yeah, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Poldu has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Poldu's skill. 
Let's hope it's not misplaced. Holdu, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Damn! <laughs> okay. This is a pretty brutal place. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, huh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our fr a new friend hasn't had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. Oh, uh, a rift in the sky. People falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Okay. Honestly, loving the intro so far. This is such a... Like a, a fresh feeling. Such a unique take on everything. Uh, I heard people comparing this to Monster Hunter. And I very much already see what they mean. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information. Read them at any time by simply pre uh, simply press the up button to open the menu. Go to the help screen. Okay. To save your progress, press the up button. Yeah, we already there is an auto save feature. Yes, yes. It's like sounds like a good idea. Rest until tomorrow morning. Yes. I should have gone to the mirror because that was probably like a change thing. I, I I doubt it would let me do anything yet. What? <laughs> the next day. So the space-time rift, I mean, you know, it, it's Sinnoh, Dialga and Palkia are space and time. Um, and the, the red uh, and green little sparks that come out are absolutely the same, like, effect in the games whenever they get summoned. So it has to do with them and probably not it could still tie into some sort of ultra wormhole, ultra space, something or another, but still really interesting. Good morning, Poldu. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Today's the day of your trial, so uh, uh, let's give it our all. What do we got? Chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. What else is here? A jug used to store drinking water has a lid. Okay. No, there's an investigate like right here. Oh, it's the tips. Okay. I'll sneak. Change outfit. Our five principles behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a uh, luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Okay, what are these jars? Lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Doubt it. I doubt they're just plain old stones. Okay. Love the loading screen little icon too. A lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. I'm hoping... I mean, we were about 30 minutes in. I'm hoping to finish this trial. I don't know how long this is. Get our starter. Which, assuming, is after the trial. 
would make sense to me. It's like, okay, you're an honorary member. Uh, here you go. The Serving Corps office, uh, are here on the first floor. Pestle. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. Yojiro, the wild poke one, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent my partner poke one, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. That's what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps. Even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild poke one. Without a partner poke one of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene, Holdu is here. You may enter. God, I, I love her face. Let us get straight to it. Oh, there's an Abra here. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry wherever you may need in the field. Damn, so we're getting like the hardest of trials ever. What's that machine in the back? That satchel doesn't exactly match your, uh, mode of dress. <laughs> Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Entry trial. We can activate guide. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two type, uh, two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. That's one thing, like, I don't know how thorough I will be in looking at every little thing, doing every little side quest, uh, as far as this LP is concerned. I mean, of course, which is necessary, we'll absolutely do all the missions, the main missions. Uh, anything else that might get more into the jump cut territory of like, hey, I did this. Or just like, hey, uh, off screen, I, I went and did this little busy side quest thing. It was nothing special. Um, come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Something the matter, Professor Lavinson? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Poldo absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, this is a, We're gonna get it now, okay. That might be as good a stopping point as any, then. Get our little buddy. And then save our first official trial for the next one. Go on, Poldu. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? So... I like Oshawa and Duat. They're adorable, but I don't really like Samurott. I find Samurott to be ugly. It might change this game. I actually really like how Pokemon did this. You know, like a day or two ago, they're just like, Isui in final forms. And there's a two minute teaser trailer and they show you nothing, just a very vague silhouette. So we know they're gonna look different. Like Typhlosion, uh, whatever Rowl it's called, and, <laughs> and Samurott. Um, a Decidueye, I think. They're all gonna look different. Um, but I, I recently did a run that I like Rowlet, but I recently did a run where Rowlet was such a downfall. Uh, I'm still salty about that. And I love me some Cyndaquil. I have no, no issues with, with this little guy. <laughs> look at him. I usually don't pick the fire starter like ever either. You want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Absolutely. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me, uh, for me will now be yours to keep. 
Good show. I've tucked Cinderquill back inside his football for you, so take it. It's yours. Little friend. I would have advised my boy pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Adorable. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They didn't go dashing from the village when Poldu fell out of the sky. Uh, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist with me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. Wait, did you take the 50 we had? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial, turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Okay, so we weren't asked to nickname. I wonder if nicknaming is just entirely absent or it's afterwards. Okay. In the map. Orders front gate. Oh, and I, wait. What, missions and requests? You go straight from that from the map. I like it. I like it. Oh, technically. We have done a mission? Hold on. How do I get... I mean, there are missions through here. Okay, the unfamiliar land complete. I want to go... Here we go. Everyday items, key items, check summary. I, I want to look to see... So, mail, just quick attack. I mean, honestly, quick attack over tackle? As a starting move, sure. No fire stab. Uh, raises users action speed. No way to say that. We got a, uh, you know what? Minus physical attack. Not terrible. Wait, one, two, two. Wonder what the the numbers mean. Is it like IVs of some sort, maybe? I I don't know. Um, but okay. Call nature's Cyndaquil. Sure. Not a Nuzlocke, so we're just gonna use whatever. Um, it's got also got an up arrow. Okay, a lot of markings we're gonna have to learn. But I think yeah, with the Cyndaquil acquisition, we'll actually do our uh our trial in the next one so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you're excited for this journey i uh, honestly as far as openings go that's pretty sick i was not ready for any of that so i cannot wait to dig into more but yeah as i was saying thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye